I found a cute little Christmas book, Santa in the City. Let's see what this is all about. Every year, Deja counted down the days, hours, minutes, and seconds until Christmas. But some kids at school didn't believe in Santa like she did. Who doesn't believe in Santa? Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. If there's a Santa, how does he get into your apartment when there's no chimney? Deshaun asked. That sleigh can't fit nowhere and reindeer can't fly. Well, he's not wrong. But we, I know the secrets. We'll see. And no one can live up at the North Pole, Carmen said. Face it, Deja. There is no Santa, even if there was. He'd never visit us in the city. Oh, I think she's wrong. That night, Mommy found Deja in her room crying. What's wrong, Deja? Mommy, tell me the truth. Is there really a Santa Claus? Of course there is, baby girl. Her mother's very smart. But how does Santa get inside our house? When we don't have a chimney, Mommy smiled. Deja, magic always finds a way. Come, let me show you. There's always magic involved with Santa, don't you think? Yes, indeed there is. She took Deja down to the first floor where Mr. Clark was painting the front door. She pointed to the big keychain hanging off his tool belt. Santa's got a special keychain, like our super, Mr. Clark. His key is magic and opens up all the apartments in the world. Oh, Deja said. Makes sense. See all his keys? And then, yep, Santa has a special key. Okay, but where does he park his sleigh? There's no free parking spots on our block at night, and not one of them is big enough for nine reindeers. Mommy laughed. He parks on the roof, just like he does at everyone else's house. She took Deja by the hand and led her up to the top floor, pointing to the roof door. <laughs> they don't fit so well, do they? No, not in the city. See, Mommy said, Santa comes in through there. She showed Deja where Santa parked his sleigh. And the old pigeon feeder, Mr. Clark, used to give the reindeer a snack. Oh, Deja said, makes sense. Satisfied, Deja took the stairs back down to her apartment. See, he could land right there on the... Yep. As Mommy tucked her into bed and read her favorite Christmas story book, Deja smiled. Deshaun and Carmen were wrong. Santa did come to their city. But the next morning, as Deja left for a day of Christmas shopping with Mommy, she couldn't help noticing how different her neighborhood looked from ones in her book. The buildings on her block did not seem ready for Christmas. She tugged on Mommy's coat. If we can't decorate our building, how will Santa find us? She's probably right. The mayor puts up extra special lights all around the neighborhood, and we always put lights in our windows so Santa won't miss us. Oh, Deja said. Makes sense. See the lights around the window? That makes sense. Yeah. But as soon as they walked into the corner bodega, another question popped into Deja's head. And then another and another. She almost didn't hear Mr. Ortiz say her breakfast sandwich was ready. Hey, little mammy. What's on your mind? Mr. Ortiz asked. Mr. Ortiz, can reindeer really fly? See, you, Mama. They're just like chickens. They can fly short distances, hopping from block to block till they reach our block. Oh, Deja said. Makes sense. Yeah. But even later that afternoon, as Deja and Mommy finished shopping, her head was so full of questions she thought she might burst. She pointed to Santa Land and asked, Okay, how can Santa be at King's Plaza, at Macy's, and up at the North Pole, making all our presents at the same time? Sorry about that. Well, these men are special elves representing Santa. They listen to the wishes of all the little kids around the world. 
Then report back to the big boss, old St. Nick. Oh, Deja said. Makes sense. Sure it does. Everybody has to have helpers. The next day was Christmas Eve, and Deja's entire family gathered at her auntie's house, where they had a big feast. She played games with her cousins and danced with her uncles like she did every year. But it was hard to enjoy herself like she used to. She still had so many questions about Santa. And luckily, there were lots of people around to ask. Okay. They're all having fun, dancing, whatever. Uncle Ronnie, how can Santa live up at the North Pole? It's really cold up there, Deja asked. Well, Santa works in tunnels underground, like the subway, where it's much warmer. Plus, he drinks plenty of hot cocoa. Oh, Deja asked. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. What about when we visit Grandma and Pop Pop in Jamaica? We're in a whole other country. How does he find us there? Well, that's easy, her Auntie Casey said. Your mommy sends him a postcard to tell him where we'll all be. Oh, Deja said. Makes sense. It does. Makes sense. Back at home, Deja left milk and cookies for Santa, but her head still swirled with questions. Like, where do other kids put their stockings if they don't have a fireplace? Or how does Santa make it to all their cities in one night? Or has he ever delivered presents to the wrong house like the mailman sometimes does? Does Santa's tummy hurt after eating all those cookies everyone leaves him, she asked Mommy. Santa doesn't eat all the cookies, Mommy said. He eats some, but has a magic snack sack he puts the rest in so he can share with the elves when he gets back to the North Pole. I've even packed them up for him. You mean you've met Santa? Oh, my goodness. Her mommy has met Santa? What do you think? What do you think? Yep, he asks grown-ups to help since he has lots of stops to make in one night. Oh, said she said. That gave Deja an idea. Hmm. After Mommy tucked her into bed, Deja only pretended to go to sleep because there was only one person who could answer all her questions. Santa himself. She waited until her Mommy was asleep before sneaking out into the living room, but she just couldn't stay awake. Fell asleep in the chair, right by the Christmas tree. She didn't hear Santa park his sleigh on the roof, or see him come down the steps, or use his magic key to open the door. <gasps> or leave out the toys she asked the special elves for. Right there. She's missing it. But when she woke up, she found something better than any toy. A special message from Santa just for her. Letting her know once and for all, magic really does find a way. Santa was real. And he had no problem coming to her city. Isn't that nice? That was a great little book. And I hope you all believe in the magic of Santa Claus.